goal is just to get better. There's no other goal compared to Salisha. Anybody else, it's just about you getting better at certain things that we've been working on. That's it. Yeah. We'll be fine. After finishing the Open, I was super excited about making it onto quarterfinals because that was the overall goal was to make it to quarterfinals. So I was very happy about that. And when the individual quarterfinals workouts came out, I did them alongside my coach Griffin Raleigh. And I found that those workouts were so much fun and I love to just do that many workouts in the span of like one weekend. So I ended up doing them. And then on Sunday, the last workout, with the rope climbs and the chest to bar and the bar muscle ups. I ended up doing it next to Griffin and I ended up getting my first bar muscle up alongside nine more or eight more, I don't know, alongside eight more. And it was so exciting because I surprised myself so much with just getting that many bar muscle ups. And I was so happy because I worked on them for so long. And when you work on something for so long and you finally get it, it's like, yay, you're just so excited and you feel like you unlocked a new chapter of your life. So after I did the individual quarterfinal workouts with my coach, I was very, fairly confident going into the quarterfinals because I was like, all right, I know they'll have some form of a barbell in there. And I was very excited about that. So I wasn't worried about the weights so much as like the other movements that were there gymnastics wise. But it makes the rings. Hey, it's good. It's good. Everything's good. See what floor you get. About three days before the workouts were released, I caught a bad cold and I was like, I'll be fine, you know. I won't have it when the workouts get released, I'll be fine. And then Friday hits and I wake up and I'm feeling horrible. But then I get to the gym and I tell myself like, it doesn't matter if you're sick or not, you're gonna do these workouts. And so I think in my brain, I turned it off and I forgot that I was sick and I still did the workouts anyways. So that's part of CrossFit. Like if you get sick, it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter. It matters in training, you know, you can take the days off. But in competition, it doesn't matter. You're just gonna go after it and you're gonna do what you need to do. Workout one, I was very excited because I love a good dumbbell walking lunge. And I also really loved like the progression of it. When you go from holding it to on the shoulders to overhead, I thought that was a really good test of it. And then as well with like the toes to bar the, to the chest to bar to the bar muscle up, I thought that was awesome. And so my one goal was to get to the bar muscle up with like five minutes left so I can attempt a few. And I ended up getting to the bar with like seven minutes left. So I got to attempt them and I got five, which I was very happy about. But yes, I really liked that workout. I think that was pretty awesome. I was very happy with it. When workout two was released, my thoughts were like yay and nay, because there's two parts, and the first part had wall-facing strict handstand push-ups, which I didn't expect. When the second part came and it was a max clean, I was so happy about that because, first of all, a clean is one of my favorite movements in CrossFit. I love it. I think it's so much fun. And so I went in with the intention of power cleaning the whole way through because that's what we've been working on. And I ended up squatting the 
third lift, I think at 165, and it was so easy. I was like, all right, I can go heavier. So we went to 172 and I hit that and it was a little bit hard. I mean, not gonna lie to you. And then we attempted one, 175 and I missed it. But I was quite happy with the 172 because that's a PR for me. And I was, yeah, I really liked that workout. I think that was super fun. I think it was a good test as well. Okay, workout three. So when workout three was released, I was like, that is a lot of running. Holy cow. I also was bursting up with a fever the morning of, and it was like horrible. So I, that was the worst I felt the whole weekend. But I was like, all right, let's just get this over with. Let's do it. First part was 50 shuttle runs. You were just chipping away at the reps. You were just running, just chilling, vibing. And it was really funny because um, one of the athletes at CrossFit Douala, his name's Jamie, he was doing it with me. And we were just laughing the whole time. Like everybody watching us was laughing. And like, I think the music stopped one time. And it was so funny to me because we were just, we were just running for like four straight minutes. And then you get to, I think it was rope climbs after. You do seven of them, up and down, up and down. You know, tore a little bit on my fingers, not too bad. And then I actually liked the fact that there was bench press in between the rope climbs, because I felt like it just, your, your shoulders don't get rest, man. You know, your shoulders are still blowing up. I liked the bench press. And then you go back to the rope climb and you're exhausted, but you're just chipping away at those reps, up and down, up and down. And then the last 50 shuttle runs are just horrible, but you're just, you're gonna finish it. So you just keep going and keep going. I think that may have been one of my least favorite workouts, to be honest. I'm not a big fan of long workouts, but that one was a long workout that I didn't hate as much as other long workouts. Yeah, so workout four was in my wheelhouse. I was very excited to do it, but I also know it was gonna hurt the most out of any other workout. So I did it, and let me tell you, I did not feel great after. I was nearly dying the whole time. But I really liked that workout. I, I do think it was a good test as well, because it was just fast. How fast can you do this? Like, when do you, when do you redline on it? So I enjoyed that one. Nearly died, but all is good. <laughs> I placed 87th overall, which I'm pretty happy with, especially having a cold and just feeling horrible the whole time. I was quite happy with it. You know, I hit a PR, I hit muscle ups. I think I crushed it and I can't wait for next season because I have one more year in the 14-15 division and I think Going into next season, I have a lot of confidence, which helps. But for now, we went to spring break and I chilled on the beach and now we are back to training. Preparing myself for next year. And I am very proud with how I did this year, especially being my first open, my first quarterfinals. And yeah, we'll see you next year, ladies. Let's go.